What an exit. It happens. It seemed like you did make a lot of excuses. It does look that way, but I never confirmed Anguilla ever. I think everyone on production feels that you did confirm those dates. I'd love and to that see these where ladies... I confirmed. So where did those dates come from? What did they... I, don't I know. know in the very beginning, we had a meeting before we started shooting. Right. And we all sat together and we tried to discuss what dates you would be available. And you said, you know, you were saying that Crow would be in camp this time, he would be in that time. And we tried to come up with a date then. And that's when I thought that we had agreed then mm -hmm. to go around your schedule. Past 28 weeks, you can't. With air pressure and et cetera being pregnant, my doctor was not willing to take the risk. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Uh huh? You knew that there was a trip. Yes, at you, some point in the United States. You knew that there were dates being bandied about yes. with this group of women, mm -hmm. that you were going on a trip with them. Yes, in the United States. Okay. The United States and Anguilla are two different things. Anguilla Andy Cohen is in another country and you can only get there by helicopter or boat. So God forbid anything happened during that time that I was there. It's not like I can just fly on home. I'm not delivering my son anywhere but in the United States, honey, in Atlanta, Georgia. So take it as an excuse or not, but my priority stems at home with my children and my family, and that's it. Candy, what was your understanding of what went down? Well, I wasn't surprised because when she said that she was going to be coming on the trip, I said, she is not going to go on this trip. I want to go back to that launch because, you know, Nene, you were trying to talk to Kim about kind of the more global situation when she walked out. What did you want to say to her? We all collectively said she makes excuses. And um, I honestly, this is the truth, I honestly sat there for a long time and didn't say anything. I let the rest of the girls talk because I wanted to let Kim have her moment with them because I'm always having a moment with Kim. I wanted her to stand and answer all the questions. It seems like the entire season you had no interest in any of these women and shooting with any of them. No, I think I, I had a lot going on with my move, and I'm having pregnancy problems. My husband's at work. I'm moving. Like, I can't deal. Like, I was I just, think, I can't deal anymore. I think, with, I think with all due respect to you, their feeling about it was, and I'll let you all say, they all have a lot of stuff going on, too. Yeah. And they're showing up. This was my only issue with you, and it has nothing to do with your, your family and your children. I love my family and, and, mm -hmm. and my husband just as much as you love Croy, and... But I feel like, you know, in this circle, you know, we're, we're part of a team. And I just felt like we weren't being respected and we were really going out of our way to make sure that we changed the dates around your dates. And that's just where I was at with it. Oh, so that it. was my frustration. You know, at the end of the day, you're married, you got a new baby, you're pregnant. I understand. I mean, obviously I'm pregnant now. I had my first child on air and I worked. Never missed a day. I mean, I went into labor uh, many a times and they came right to that hospital with Me those too. cameras. Yeah. I never took off one day with my baby. It seemed like you didn't have intentions to stay at the brunch too long. Croy was outside waiting for you in the car. He drove me like he drove me everywhere when he could. Big and pregnant. He just drove me wherever he could. It wasn't like I had Croy outside to be my getaway car. I had absolutely no intentions of leaving. Like, that's crazy. Croy just drove me like he did when he could. There was a lot of miscommunication. And you can take it as an excuse. You can take it out. But it is what it is. Um, everybody is being really nice, which is nice. It's good to be nice, but bottom line, everybody felt like you was full of it through this whole year and well, all of the end know. of last year because you did always have an excuse. Whenever we do something, you know, you would say, well, I've been here for an hour. Or I've been here for this, but it's like, okay, well, everybody has to go and sit there right, for well, how long until the, the whole event ends. Player thing. That's what got really right. frustrating for me. Right, so I think overall, when it got to the time of the brunch, I feel like everybody was sick of you being able to bail out and then we still having to Well, Candy, a prime example is when it. you and I had an appointment at the nail salon and you show up two hours late. Like, I don't have time for that. Kim, you come places I don't have time late. For that. You not come two hours to a late. lot of different things no. late. Yes, you have. I, yes, maybe you 15, have. 30 minutes, not two hours. Even more than 15, 30 not minutes. Two hours. Yes, you have. So, like You'll I said, say when it's an, traffic or when this or that. 6 30 to 8 30, and I may get there whatever. at 7. But I expect to Cynthia you know, will come early and still be there till it mm -hmm. ends, regardless well, of Well, nobody's raising my babies but me, so that's where we're different. Excuse like, I have, me? I have somebody else at home that I tell them hey, I'll be what, home at 8 30. You, you had a and nanny every time. What are you so, talking about? When it's 10 o'clock and you're rolling in, like, I got a problem. I got to go. Okay, well, I'm sorry. And we that's never, what I'm referring we to. We never caught on to that. We never said, okay, we can only be there two hours and then we're out. 
I mean, I know that everybody felt like we were held to a different standard because everybody has talked about this. But you had the same problem with needing taking a flight to Vegas and you being on a bus. I mean, like, whatever. She's held to a different standard. Okay, that makes a whole lot of sense. I mean, it's not just what? an we issue. We knew that she was taking the flight because she was working. We just didn't like being on the bus mm -hmm. that long. Well, you're That's like, why I made the first statement. class or whatever. No, I said because the bus me. ride took a million years. I was like, well, next time I'm not riding the bus. It wasn't about the fact that she rode a plane. Mm -hmm. You just trying just to relate like, two things that's not related together to make your point. You had a point. It's not making you're a pissed. point. Nini gets a direct flight. You're mad. Nini gets special treatment. I'm yeah, Whatever. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over it. You're really going through it this season. Where are you living now? We're in my townhouse.